Mr. President, we gather today to discuss the question of Palestine, a stark reminder of the importance of multilateral action, but at the same time, a proof of the limit of its frameworks, including these very United Nations. On the one hand, without the international law, without the global fora of nation, the Palestinian cause would have faded into oblivion in a world dominated by narrow interests. In the other hand, multilateral action has shown its limitation despite the consensus of the international community and the successful binding resolution, resolution that plainly affirm and reaffirm the Palestinian right to self-determination. Palestinian right to their land, Palestinian right to their statehood. Yes, we find ourselves unable to enforce them. This failure stems from an occupying power that disregards international law and thrives on impunity, acting as though it is above the law. In Gaza, in the West Bank, the Israeli occupier continue to kill, continue to arrest, with the toll of victims surpassing in nearly one year 41,000 martyrs, almost 100,000 wounded, and more than 100 1,000, 10,000 Palestinian detainees. The Israeli occupying power, the secret crates, holy sites of Al-Quds Sharif, and forcibly displace its people. Just this morning, we witnessed an other assault from Israeli settlers protected by the Israeli police into the mosque of Al-Aqsa. The occupying power openly denies the right of the Palestinian people and seeks to undermine the establishment of their states. Mr. President, in light of this bleak reality, which threaten to extinguish hope, extinguish hope in the heart of the Palestinians and peace lovers around the world. The advisory opinion of the International Court of Justice came. This historic and comprehensive decision by the highest judicial body in the world, challenges the Israeli occupation narrative and exposes its apartheid policies. It reaffirms the illegality of Israel occupation of Palestinian territories and the need to its end. Now, as President Abdel Najid Taboon has emphasized, and I quote, we, the advocates of the just peace, bear the responsibility to end the historic injustice inflicted on the Palestinian people, an outcome achievable only by compelling, only by compelling the occupying power to comply with international law. End of quote. Mr. President, the voice of justice has spoken, 
and it is imperative that we, we, we shall all abide by its ruling. Failing to do so will disrupt the very foundations of the international order. We should ensure the full implementation of the ICG advisory opinion. For this purpose, the State of Palestine submitted to the General Assembly this historic draft resolution. And this draft is historic in its significance, as it is the first resolution submitted by the State of Palestine in its national capacity in the history of the United Nations. It is another victory on the path to full membership to the United Nations. It is also historic in its content as it outlines a roadmap to end the occupation and enable the Palestinian people to fully enjoy their rights. My country, Algeria, having always stood by Palestine, promptly sponsored this draft resolution and call on all members to support it, to vote in favor of it. Today, we must be united in our support, in our solidarity with the Palestinian people. We must stand together in defense of international law. We must stand united for peace. I thank you.